live from the local station. News 4 Jax starts now. A drug crackdown at an auto shop in Clay County. This is what deputies found. Meth, pipes, syringes, and scales. Now the shop's manager and a customer are in jail. And these are their mug shots. Peter De La Pena is the manager. Cody Martin, the customer. News 4 Jacks reporter Scott Johnson joins us live from the Clay County Jail where they were taken after the raid. Scott. Yeah, they were taken here after this raid, which had been ongoing down in this area, very rural, a lot of car lots, mechanic type places. This one specifically was very closed off. A lot of surveillance cameras when I approached it today. This is the entrance I found to the auto repair business along a dirt road, a locked gate blocked by an old school bus with multiple warnings to stay out. So I attempted to contact anyone inside the only way I knew how. Hello? Anyone here? This is the site where investigators with the Clay County Sheriff's Office say drugs were being sold. This is an image of some of the drugs and paraphernalia seized during the raid. It includes 12 grams of meth. You're not surprised? No. Why not? The neighborhood <laughs> right behind you. Robert Calabai has lived out here for decades and says he's not surprised the area has problems. They need to. Why they do? need to. Why? You got a lot of renters in here. People never weren't born. I was born and raised here. And being a property owner back here, I live here. I can't stand it. But it soon won't be so rural. This area will soon be developed as part of the huge Governor's Park development that will likely transform the demographics of Green Cove Springs. I believe that there is a nexus to all these other crimes as a result of, of, of narcotics. Last week, News for Jacks reporter Eric Avenier talked with Clay County Sheriff Daryl Daniels about his agency's focus on fighting drugs. He says they're getting tips all the time about spots like this. We get tips on uh, instant message anonymously. Um, you know, sometimes people just call in. Um, you know, we, we investigate everything to the fullest. And once again, to clarify, this is that Governor's Park area of Green Cove Springs. Right now, it's a lot of mobile homes, a few auto repair places, and dirt roads. In the next year or two, that's going to change more than 10,000 people expected to move there when the new subdivisions are built. We're live in Clay County. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station. Scott, any word how long the Sheriff's Office has been receiving complaints about this business? Well, Tom, this had been a long-term investigation in their release to us. They said they had been monitoring and getting tips about this place for months, right down a dirt road. They finally made the raid yesterday. Back to you. Scott Johnson reporting live from Clay County. Thank you, Scott.